from as far as we can extend our knowing and our sensing, even beyond the confines, so to speak, of this universe, all mm, is mm, at its base energetic, all is consciousness, and this consciousness then is expressed or molded into mm, different expressions of itself. However, it does not mm, lose mm, or change its energetic base. Mm, and therefore, all is energy. This is what you would call the base of reality or beingness, the energetic construct, hmm. the idea that physical and energetic are in some ways separate from one another is simply a construct or concept that you are evolving beyond now and statements such as these are opening hmm, yourselves to this greater idea, for they are not separate, they are not differing from one another at their base. In other words, what you call matter or physical reality is simply a different vibration of frequency on the energetic plane, which then allows for the experience, the beingness, which is hmm, still energetic in its base, of the physicality. You are already aware scientifically from your own observations hmm, of your reality that your base of physicality contains great, what you would call space, contains energy contains movement and as such you are understanding that the nature of what appears to be what is experienced as solid is simply a different vibratory rate which then gives the illusion of solidity to you in the energetic construct that you may have the physical experience. Hmm. What is then the base of thought? For it is thought, or rather consciousness, which gives then all the form and the many myriad of expression to the energy mm, as we know it. Mm, it is an answer to a question. Mm, the base of all the forms of consciousness, you, us, the planets, all beingness is the answer or rather the unfolding and expansion of the one question, hmm, what am I? Hmm, hmm, what am I? The ultimate answer is simply that I am. However, I am takes on the myriad of expressions. Hmm? takes on whatever the intention of the consciousness hmm, brings to it. And so, you can then, as you would call, extrapolate or extend this one question into other questions which hmm, then express or hmm, hear that call to answer or fill that void of that initial question. Hmm? Questions such as, what if? Questions such as, hmm, what is discovery or the essence of discovery? From these types hmm, of conceptual questions, hmm, what can I create? What is creation for me? And what is the expression of myself? All of these types of questions are simply reframing the initial question for which we were all born to answer, so to speak, all, each, in our own unique expression of consciousness, which answers to 
our whole expression of consciousness, for we are inseparable from all that is. You are inseparable from all that is, for you are but one extension and expression from the intention and the initial question that extends out from all that is. Therefore, you cannot be separated from that which you are, even though through this uniqueness you can still hmm, experience yourself as answering this question in your own unique expression, in your own unique creation of your life, of your expression of hmm, beauty, love, challenge, and all it entails in your incarnate state and in the many states that you are also capable of being aware of energetically and expressing through energetically as we have noted to you in previous transmissions. Hmm. More specifically for this universe, hmm, some of the base, hmm, shall we say, questions hmm, or intentions or shall we say explorations that have brought about the unique expression of this universe would be, hmm, what would it be to create hmm, a system of energy which expresses hmm, in balance with itself that of shadow and that of light. Hmm? The balance between that which is shown and revealed and that which appears at first to be hidden and can be revealed through the process of creation, through the process of discovery. And therefore, hmm, you have here the basis thoughts of this dualistic universe, the idea of creation of balance between two seemingly opposing or balancing energies, hmm? which are always in its essence in the base answering the one question and as such are part of its own whole, a part of the wholeness. And so, the expression and creation of the universe and its continued expansion through our and your expressions and creations are all hmm, within this construct of the duality and the exploration thereof. And we are hmm, all, you and us, a part of this expression at the myriad and infinite amount of expressions of consciousness that this one concept, this one set of questions and thoughts and intentions can allow for. Mm. And so it extends from there. And yes, all is energetic. All is based from the one consciousness in the myriad of expressions, and from that consciousness then, all that you would call creation or expression or matter then comes from that expansion and expression of creation. This is why it is your nature to be the creative beings that you are, hmm? for it is simply what you are. And even when you are hmm, feeling as if you are not creating, you cannot but create. This is what you are. You are simply exploring hmm, another aspect hmm, of the creation, possibly through the shadow aspects, in order to reveal more through the light aspects. And you are playing in this playground of duality to hmm, express and explore and then to bring into self and therefore into the universe itself and therefore into all that is the greater balance. For this is the universe of greater balance 
And these are the greater questions and concepts which we are all exploring together.